What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity John. You know, I want to talk about Julius Irvin because, man, he's been such a class act for the sport of basketball. I mean, you can say that it was Julius Irvin that paved the way for a fantastic flyers like Michael Jordan and Dominique Wilkins. He was the NBA. I mean, my brother was born in the 70s. And uh, I mean, Dr. J was larger than life. He was just a flamboyant player, you know, just doing everything that he wanted to on the court. I mean, just dunking on everybody. Kind of looked like me before I got hurt. But, but besides being a class act and, and, and great for the city of Philadelphia and representing himself, um, you know, he, Dr. Dre had uh, a little bit of a, a, a issue that was going on. And he ended up having a daughter um, out of wedlock. Okay. Now, who is the daughter? Alexandra Stevenson. Now, she was a really, really good tennis player, really successful. Uh, she went to the finals of Wimbledon and, um, and she just, she's 40 years old now, but, um, you know, she, she, she did, uh, you know, pr pr pretty, pretty good job. And, and her mother was a white lady by the name of Samantha Stevenson. Now, how did, um, they meet? Well, <laughs> her mom was a groupie. Okay, and, and, and what would happen is that when Dr. Dre was feeling <laughs> feeling stressed out, the mom would, um, yeah, so the mom would, you know, uh, 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 give him some of that good dome, okay? And that was her job. Giving dome, and then he'd go back home come back over again and get some dome now stop the show some some of y'all <laughs> that are ladies out there y'all might have been you might have know somebody that have been there okay i'm not saying it is you but you probably know that you, you know somebody that was like that before okay and then the first night that he actually went on ahead and hit it booty lava sounds um she she couldn't give the dome she actually she actually had some her, her teeth she actually was getting her teeth straightened out okay so she had a wire and all that stuff so she couldn't because you know, he didn't want to get his meat all scratched up right so um so he went on ahead and hit it, it must have been good and he you know didn't have no condom and he was you know, what else? he was hitting it and then um the baby came out okay and now you, you gotta imagine to know that your mama was a a BJ artist in that you had a baby by him. It's crazy. And I, I know that this this is this is interesting because huh, um she is the first OnlyFans kind of model, IG model groupie ever all right to ever do this and, and, I, and i just want to say that we think that these things are just new are they're just uncommon there have always been ladies out there willing to do stuff for guys who had a lot of money men willing to do some things for guys who are successful there are a lot of men willing to do women things doing certain things for guys who are high status it's not just today. And I want guys to look at, you know, yeah, when I think about Dr. J maybe at that time, you know, he, he's a, you know, at, at this time, man, like he's doing really good for himself. And I want guys to see how things can happen for you just in one time. It just takes one time. All right. One time you got a baby. And at this time, he had, you know, this is right before they won the Super, uh, they won the NBA Finals in Philadelphia. So, and at the time, the Sixers were doing very, very good as a team. Um, you know, they were competing every year, almost in the in the NBA 
you know, uh, finals and Eastern Conference Finals. So, but I, I want you guys to know, when you was just 30 years old at the time, be very, very careful for what you do. Handle yourself accordingly. You know, there's a price to pay when you're dealing with a woman, all right, that, um, you know, you don't really care about that like that. You're not really looking to have sex with them like that, all right? In, you know, in today's day, you do that, you end up like Tristan Thompson, okay? When you have money, you have something, you got a lot to lose, brothers. You got a lot to lose at all times, okay? All times. Groupies are gonna come after you. Ladies are gonna be able to do whatever they, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna roll it out. If you don't want them to, and the thing about having a lot of money is, and, and I'm kind of figuring this out. You can straight up tell them, listen, all I want you to do is just give me some dough. And some women are gonna be okay with that. Now, if they, they're not gonna be okay with it when you broke. But when you got money, you're gonna be able to have it your way. You wanna have four of them at the same time in a room? Couldn't get it when you broke? And you got money? You can do it. Wanna have more than one woman if you got money? You can do it. Want her to be there whenever you call? You can do it. Just know there's a consequence. You know, and you got to use a sermon. You can't let your success be the reason why you fall off. Like I tell guys all the time, you move like you got something to lose at each time. Every person, every encounter that you're dealing with, it's always calculated. Because I'm, I'm going to tell you like this, a lot of you guys, you work too hard to get to where you're at. And this was in the 80s, was a little bit more lax. Now... You know, you got screenshots and stuff. You got text messages. You got cell phones. You got people that see you out. You got cameras. Now you got to be a little bit more, you know, crisp in your movement. Okay. And you got social media. You know, people didn't want to put that out back then. But now, everybody didn't know. Because she, she as a white woman, she probably didn't want to be, you know, um, uh, everybody in the world to know she got pregnant by a black athlete that didn't want to be with her. But as you see with Tristan Thompson, hey, today that's worth some money. Okay? So I want guys to really pay attention to that, you know, and and, and, and watch how you move and it, it, just, it just takes one time, man, to make a mistake, deal with a chick you don't want to deal with, and you lose everything. Alright? You can lose everything. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe with the bell. Check out the first clip in the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. I'm out.